Hi everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I'm gonna go over views. It's something that's not talked about a ton inside of the mortgage landscape. And specifically in this video, I'm gonna talk about what is a view. Then I'm gonna go into customizing a view. And last of all, I'm gonna go into some best practice views that we've seen over the years that help you get the most out of your system. Declutter it, take out the complication, only see the data you need on an everyday basis. I mean, these systems can get quite large. They can have a lot of data, but with proper view management, it can feel extremely powerful, efficient, and less overwhelming. Hope you enjoy this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and also, I just want to say, feel free to hop into my office hours. There will be a link below inside of the comments. That's a chance for you to communicate with me. Ask me any questions. It's open to clients and non-clients. I'm happy to talk with whoever joins. If you like this video or there's other videos that you want to ask questions about, feel free. Once again, Massimo from Blue Root and enjoy the video. Let's get into it. So what is a view? A view, the best way to think about it, if you're kind of old school and you view systems in the past, you would have to build a report. And in those reports, you would have criteria. For example, client city is X or province is Y or state is Z, for example. Think of it as a way to filter down your data. So a view could also be thought of in an Excel context as a filter along the top, right? So it allows you to take your data, not delete anything, but shrink what you're looking at to be pertinent to what you need, right? And so views are available in all of these modules. And I highly encourage you to use them. So for example, when I go into deals, where the views are located is in the top left. When I go into contacts, same thing. So Zoho does a really good job at keeping things consistent. All the views are in the same spot in every module. So you don't have to worry about that. So that's what a view is. And, and like, for example, Zoho gives you some out of box and you might find them valuable, right? And so for example, there's closing next month. So when I click this in in this data set, there aren't any, but you could see it shrunk the data set. And what it's looking at here is the closing date. You can also hover over them and actually hit the star. And what this will do, it takes a second, but you'll see it, it actually moves up into the favorites. And then you can reorganize your favorites by hitting these little dots and move them up and down. And so this allows you to really customize your CRM. So that's what a view is, right? So now how do you create these? So first off, like I said, Zoho gives you some out of box. And in the final part of this video, I'm gonna talk about the ones I think are the best to use on an everyday basis. But to create them at the bottom here, I'm gonna move my little bubble. You can see there's a new custom view button. So again, that lives in deals, contacts, accounts, tasks, all of the modules have the exact same GUI. So I'm gonna hit new custom. Step one is naming the view. So this is a test view. Step two is giving it criteria. So for example, in this situation, since we're in the deal module, I'm gonna say that the closing date so I wanna show anything that's closing this year that also has an amount greater than X. I'll say maybe 5,000. So I'm gonna say closing date is this year. So Zoho has some filters for that, right? So you could say this year, or you could do is before or is after. You can have a lot of fun with this. So I'm gonna say is this year. And then by hitting this plus, it allows you to add to that criteria. So you can see there's an and here, right? And I'll say, and the amount, so by typing it shrinks the filter, the amount is greater than or equal to, so any number field, currency field, decimal field has the greater than or equal to from whatever algebra, right? And so I can say greater than or equal to 5,000. Now, when I hit save, you'll see here's one. It's greater than 5,000 and the closing date is in 2022, which is this year. And so this is a great way to filter your data. And this can be done in all of the modules. The last piece I'll just mention here is if you're in an account, fortunately in this demo, I'm not, but if you're in an account with multiple users, so if there's 10 users, five users, or anything greater than one, you will have a section here that will actually say share. And you'll have a few options. You can make it private. So it's only yourself that can see it. So if you don't want to clutter up people, other people in your team, or it's not a view that other people will use, just keep it to yourself. The other is share to a specific user. So you could say me and Jim need to see this view. And the third, and it doesn't have to just be you and Jim. It can be you, Jim, Michael, Jenna. You can also choose user roles. So you could say anyone that's a VP can see this view, for example. And the last one is public, meaning everyone in the company can see it. There's no real criteria. So you can pick and choose. There will be three options here. The other thing I'll mention with these views is you can choose or, right? So by clicking, you can choose or. So you could say closing date is this year or the amount is greater than 5,000. And so you'll see there should be more data now because like, for example, this one has no closing date, but it's greater than 5,000. So it's going to show it. So it's going to show either or of those criteria. 
that's how you create a custom view. So the last part of the video I want to talk about a little bit is the ones I find to be the most valuable when we're setting up system. Let's start with the deals. Deals module, I always recommend people to star the closing this month. This is a great view. Zoho gives it to you out of box. It'll just show anything that has a closing date this month. Highly recommend. Number two, I always recommend to do closing this year. You should probably make it. You can call it whatever you want. This year's deals. And then you just simply say closing date, go here and you choose this year. And now save. So now it's gonna show you everything this year. If you have this month and this year, it's awesome. It'll help you shrink the data as you're using the system for multiple years. You don't need to see all the deals that closed last year. And this is dynamic. So when you go into Jan 2023, it'll reset, right? So it's great for that. One little caveat I'll say is if you're part of an organization that has some privacy restrictions around deals, I would say to do this and then go owner is, and there's an option here for logged in user. So this basically allows it to scale. So if Massimo, myself, logs in, I'll see my deals this year. If Jenna logs in, she'll see her deals this year. So it's a great way to scale this view by doing the logged in user as the owner. Now when I hit save, since I own this deal, I now see it. So in the deal module, closing this month, closing this year, great start. The account module is also another popular one that I see people asking about, like how do I find my clients, right? By default, Zoho gives you one that's all accounts. I would recommend creating a new one. Zoho out of box and also most custom systems have an account status. So when I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and say clients. And now I'm going to click here and choose type in this situation is. And now, for example, you can see here we have corporate or showroom. So in a lot of systems, you'll have account type or account status and you can choose client. That is a very highly recommended one that you use because when you choose client, now it will show all the accounts that are actually clients of yours. Because you might have accounts that are vendors, you might have accounts that are clients, you might have accounts that are leads or, or lost, for example. So that account type or account status is extremely important. So that's one I always recommend people do, make a client view in the account module. One thing I wasn't able to show inside of the deal module, but you can show in the account module is this is a very popular feature here where you can actually pick and choose what columns show inside of your view. So if I hit save here, if I uh, this and I hit showroom as an example, now I'll be able to see those columns, right? Account, phone, website. So if I go back to this view, I can actually change them, right? So I could bring in the code, I can move the code up and hit save, and now you'll see account, phone, code website. So that's a great way to customize your view. This rolls out to everyone if you're sharing it with your whole staff. So I'd recommend you do that. So now we have the clients, we have the deals closing this month and this year. That's a very handy one. If you have the lead module in this system, we do not. But if you have the lead module, I would say you should really use the new this week, new last week, and also the recently modified leads or contacts. So there's a few in here that you should use, but definitely the new this week, new last week. And one of the tips I always give people is to bring in the last activity time. So the last activity time allows you to see the last time you emailed or wrote a note or wrote a task on the record. So it's extremely important. Highly recommend bringing it into view. Last one I tell people to customize is tasks. This can be very overwhelming. There could be a lot in here because by default it shows you all tasks, whether they're open or closed. Zoho has a couple really good views in here. So number one they that I always recommend people use is my open task. This is a very simple one. It just shows all the tasks that you haven't started. And this is dynamic. So if Jenna logs in, she'll see hers. If Massimo logs in, he'll see his. The other one I always recommend people do is my today and overdue. So this will show anything due today or that I forgot to do, right? And so you can see these are all ones I forgot to do. They're in the past. At any point, you could hover here, hit the pencil and change what shows in the columns and you can create your own views as well. But in the task, typically these suffice. And most people, they favorite this one, they favorite this one, and they also favorite this one. So now they know my open tasks or I can go to the ones I forgot to do or the ones due today. So you could quickly click on my today's task and it would just show the ones you have today. So that's basically it. So that's what a view is. That's how to customize a view. And those are probably the easiest views to set up to get the most out of your system. That way you're not overwhelmed by all the clutter that could potentially start happening as you're using the system for many years. Appreciate you watching. Again, please like, comment, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you and have a great day. Cheers.